little disclaimer from future lbm here um i made this video before young blood old souls came out so a lot of shit i'm saying is with just watching agony of a witch and everything else before that obviously but that being said uh, i kind of finished the video after it came out and uh it was already almost done so i said whatever so uh let's see if i'm right or wrong that sounded so stupid i'm just gonna go ah gee well it looks like it's time to wake up hmm can't wait to see the second to last episode of our house this season i wonder what's gonna happen i'm so excited it seems like something really climactic is gonna happen oh well let me turn on the tv yo Ida is so strong i wonder what she's Ida? Ida? remember to feed hootie please no and lose thank you for being in my life <laughs> Bruh, I just see a face everywhere. I I just don't. <sighs> Bruh, I don't. Have you ever dealt with loss before? I don't think you have compared to this, bruh. Okay, fuck that bruh. bitch, oh you stupid that ass hoe. Oh my fuck that Lilith. bitch. She talking about fucking Lilith? Uh, I'm down. Hey yo, facts, facts, facts. Hey yo, what? Somebody get this nigga, please. Okay, okay, listen. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking give you reasons as to why the fuck it's cool that Lilith fucking curse Ida. Like, on some shit, that shit was some real fuck shit. But, like, think about it. There's definitely more to this situation. Like, just let me explain. I'll teach you how to be a witch, but you have to work for me before you learn any spells. Deal? Uh, oh, let's go. Too tight, too tight, too tight. Let's talk about the Owl House. You may not know the show. You may know the show. It's fake ass Harry Potter, and I don't want nothing to do with it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, all right. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. In reality, it's a story about this human girl named Luz. Mises, Witch, and Eda, and shit pop off. And I have to say that out of all the Disney Channel shows currently out right now, our house is probably my favorite. That's no disrespect on Big City Greens, no disrespect on Amphibia, which I haven't watched yet, but I think when I'm talking about our house, I definitely want to talk about the story. And what's currently going on is some shit, bruh. Like, I'm sorry, like, all my niggas hate Lilith, but like, I really don't. Like, of course what she did was bad, but it's the idea that, like, all right, let's just say you were in Lilith's shoes. Or let's just say you were in your shoes. Now imagine, you're trying to strive to be the best person you can be at whatever you like. Let's just say it's the thing everybody wants to do. Just imagine, you try your hardest, try your best, and just turns out somebody's just better than you. Now, obviously one would feel jealousy and spite, and that even extends to family. It's pretty clear to see that she was manipulated to do what she did, which was having a bright idea of cursing Ida to get into the Emperor's Coven. Now, let's just say Lilith did this all on her own. That makes no sense. Why would anyone want to do that completely out of spite? In my opinion, I think I got a theory on what's actually going down. It don't. It don't go down. Robert, it goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! Stop, stop. Now, I believe that Lilith, at the tender age of being a teenager, as one could imagine, was manipulated. And I'm also pretty damn sure that whoever was the person that gave Lilith the idea to do what she did, which was cursing Ida, most definitely has great power in the kingdom to allow it to the Emperor's Coven for just doing that. But uh, I'm thinking that the person that got Lilith to curse Ida most likely has alternate reasons for doing what they're doing, most likely not involving Lilith. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at you, nigga. Yeah, you think you slick? But yeah, the entire reason I'm even making this video is because I've been seeing the constant little slender all over Twitter and uh, it's gotten kind of crazy. Like I could definitely see why, but there's just no way Lilith will have her heart fully into that shit. I just don't believe that's her character. And I guarantee you during the time of her manipulation, there was definitely some sort of magical misplay at hand. I'm talking like some top level talk no jutsu type shit, man. In my mind, I feel what's gonna happen next in the story. Probably gonna be along the lines of, since they finally got eaten, niggas gonna go turn up and fucking use it for whatever the deeds they want to do obviously that we know the emperor bellows needs magical essence in order to survive and i'm pretty sure he might go through any means possible to get what he wants and i feel he has plans for Ida, evolving around the idea of either extracting her magical essence 
or using her as a brainwashed super soldier to do his fucking bidding. And another thing, honestly, I feel that. What the fuck is that? There's something in the background. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> I don't know where that little creature came from, that little vermin, that little organism, if you can call it alive. Whoever made that thing, I hope they're laughing right now. Because I guarantee you, I don't want to see that thing again. But, but what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, honestly, you can believe everything I said, or you cannot. It could be complete cap talk in your eyes. But there's still the fact of the matter that there is definitely somebody somewhere in the kingdom that most definitely wants Ida for some sort of purpose. I don't know what that is. But we're gonna have to find out sooner or later and they'll make themselves known other than that i actually think that once the person that wants ida for exceptionally strong magic that might do something that's pretty fucking terrible to lilith and i have a feeling it might have to do something with betrayal again you know which is a pretty big ass theme in this fucking show most likely i'm just gonna say that lilith might get betrayed by emperor bellows along the lines of discarding her as soon as she fits her purpose which is being close to Ida. but hey i'm not dana terrence or anyone on the owl house crew i have no idea what the fuck they're gonna do i mean we're all on this big ass wild ride called the owl house we don't know what the fuck they're gonna do we're at their mercy like all this crazy shit just happened in a second the last episode of the season what do you think gonna happen next thing we know lou's gonna have master ultra instinct she gonna handle Jiren real quick then go on to get bellows Okay, maybe not that, but definitely something important. Means being in a coven, but I never joined one, and I'm better than all of them combined. You gotta be your own witch. My own witch. I mean, honestly, after getting all of that off of my chest, the only thing I really want people to take away from this video is the fact that please do not jump to conclusions when you're looking at shows or any sort of media. It just ruins the experience. There's so many times in other media where you jump to conclusions and you ruin yourself. And you just generally think a character's garbage until, hey, their next episode could be a redemption arc or something. Or later in the season, it's a redemption arc. Just take a second and look at the facts. We can all end up being completely wrong or completely right. I mean, like, my nigga, look at Steven Universe. There was just tons of shit we was just wrong about. And tons of shit we still don't even know the answers to. Sort of like that damn chest. Honestly, one thing I do find weird that I don't know, at least in my opinion, haven't seen many people talk about is, what the fuck is this gonna do to lose? Like, nigga really just saw her other mom get fucking vegeta Like, what is she gonna do? I guarantee you she ain't gonna be fucking with Lilith, and I guarantee you she gonna be on some PTSD type shit, some Steven Universe type shit, bro. Like, honestly, I feel like this show is literally just peace and everything they get it's just getting ready for that big ass conflict that's gonna happen sooner or later and i don't think my heart gonna be able to take it like i physically feel as if i will lose every bit of life essence i have in my body if i see something crazy just happen i don't know what you want but uh my heart can only take so much bro it's too much heartbreak happening out here bro i can't do it no more uh but i guess that's all i can say uh um stan king oh yeah amity too she's pretty cool wait wait the new episode of our house the season finale came out hold on let me watch this i wonder if anything i said came true oh, oh uh excuse me what the fuck? 